In this championship, it's Sarah Austin, me, versus the Windows Phone 7. Here's how it works. Every time this phone surprises me, bam, to my face. And every time this phone sucks, I'm gonna knock it out. Okay, so there we got it out of the box and I took off my boxing gloves. So let's turn this bad boy on. Well, the first thing I notice about it is this giant, really nice screen. And it's a touch screen, so I've got everything I need here in the front, and I can organize my contacts and whatnot, and it seems pretty easy to use. I like the screen, I like the design, I like how it's really text heavy, and it seems pretty easy to use and figure out. So, bonus points for the large screen and the really sophisticated design. The worst part is it doesn't have copy and paste, so bam to the phone. No multitasking, again. And lastly, this phone OS only updates with Facebook, but not Twitter or LinkedIn built in. Final punch down for the Windows Phone 7. For $199 and a two-year plan on T-Mobile plus a $50 rebate, you can get this Windows Phone 7 HTC HD 7 with 16 gigabytes of memory, a 720p HD video recorder, a 4.3-inch high-resolution touchscreen, and the App Store. However, you're going to pay twice as much in the App Store that you would pay buying iPhone apps, plus you can get an iPhone 4 for the exact same price. Two points for the Windows phone, but three points for me. I'm the winner, champion! Woo! Yeah, yeah, champion, woo! I'm Sarah Austin, and this is Pop17. Subscribe.